yeah, it kind of leads into the singularity topic, really. Hey? Yeah. So we, 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 we thought our, I guess our, our new stories are kind of like toys and gadgets and... Hmm. They, we, what, what, what toy would a 10 year old in like 20 years or in the future be playing with? Yeah. Or even less than a 10 year old, like the bears and all that, maybe not a old. <laughs> oh yeah, put down the things, I like this idea. <laughs> it gets us back. It signals the, uh... Oh god, I hate this laptop. But everything's connected, <laughs> except the power. <laughs> yeah, I get, uh, it's held on with duct tape. High quality stuff. Yeah. I, I, just to show the future generations. <laughs> I'm on a laptop with duct tape. Yes. It's not mine though, I borrow it, so... It's cool. works well. Okay, so... Okay, you can start. What <laughs> toys do you think kids in the future will be playing with? Well, how far are we talking? Just, uh, just oh. general future. Well, yes, it, like you, what, you, what trends are you noticing and where do you think that could be? Yeah, you're, like you're saying, um, everything's going to be have a computer chip. Yeah, we're already so seeing in, that in, in that sense, it means that everything's going to be connected. It's the Internet of Things type thing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That, that'll be a big That's risk. a good, yeah, that's a definite prediction. I can agree with that. Yeah. Definite. Even, even with toys, like the toys well will be connected devices. to something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in that sense, I mean, it's all going to be like what's the the big trends with toys at the moment? Like electronic toys, I've found always seems to be like for kids always seems to be about education. Mm. That's why I'm gonna, I'm going to go on that angle. Like education and, and fun, like entertainment. Entertainment, yeah. It, it's because parents usually the way they they conned into spending that much money. Yeah, on it. Like three hundred dollars for like this little shitty little console thing that. Yeah. It's because hey, it's fun. Kids will actually play it, but they'll, they'll learn, learn maths too. and maths and English at the same time. It's like oh yeah, okay, cool. I'm I'm not a, as big a proponent for the whole edutainment type thing. I don't think massively that will be a big thing. Just because looking back in the past, that um, like you know all the breakout toys and stuff weren't really that. Uh, they didn't really do that much education and stuff. Like say the Furby, Furby's a good example, it's just more something you could look after, like cabbage patch dolls and stuff, or even going back to like our grandparents, like, you know, colored so blocks you're more and stuff. Well, they're games, essentially. Games, yeah, yeah, maybe games a little, a little bit, bit more, yeah. Games and toys for... Yeah, and uh, maybe more with the more personalized, like say the, the robot, uh, the, the computer chip in there, like everything's gonna have a computer chip in there, so that means they've got a high level of processing power, and so they can do more, more things, like, uh, I don't know, more, more actual uh, thinking and relating to the kid. Like, I like the idea of putting a camera in. I think cameras are going to be more yeah. ubiquitous in there. So if it can just detect basically how the child's interacting or how anyone's interacting Jeez, with it. The, the privacy concerns of that. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. Like, the privacy issue at the moment, imagine parents trying to convince parents that, hey, you should put this toy with your kid unattended. Yeah. It's got a camera in there. That's <laughs> and then it'll be connected to the, to the web as well. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But see, that's a cool idea. Like, eventually, it, like, how cool would it be growing up to have one of those bears... Like you see yeah. it in movies, but where it's actually it's a friend. Yeah, like it's, that bear that just shown there. That would be an awesome like, thing growing like up. Like a real like AI. I um, forget which movie it is. Like it might have been like artificial intelligence or something. One of those movies that. where there's like this bear where it's like she carries it around all the time, and it's literally it's an AI bear. Cool. Um, That's awesome. Oh, I think. I don't know. Oh, I, I, I I don't remember. It's in one of the really really popular ones. But I mentioned like a bear growing up. Like my sister had lots of it. I had a bear growing up. It was called Charles. It was a brown bear. But uh, imagine a bear like that you could actually, uh, you know, have that actually responded and talked to you. Like, that's a, it's a better toy. It really yeah. is. And you look at the, look at it from, say, like our grandparents growing up. I like this idea of seeing where it was in the past and where, where you can extrapolate going on from the future of the trends. So like our grandparents, very basic, no interactivity, like, you know, very like colored blocks and stuff or basic, like, you know, wooden things with the like eyes moving. Like I remember my grandma saying that was a big thing for her. Eyes Those, moving in bears. Yeah, no, no, in dolls. In you dolls. know, so like dolls, how if you, you stood it up, the yeah, eyes yeah, opened. Yeah. If you lay it down, the eyes closed. That yeah. was like a really big thing. And it made the dolls realistic. really realistic. Yeah. So a high degree of realism for say bears and dolls and stuff. Yeah. And then of course, well, so they borderline to... like it, it, they, it, for a child, for a child, it almost seems sentient. It would yeah, seem it would even, yeah. even low level AGI type stuff would seem like it was an know, actual thing. Provided they got the semantics down, that's the really good. Yeah, this, the low level semantic language type stuff. And you do the same thing. I don't think it was it wasn't Club Penguin. It was one of one of these other ones. We've spoken about it before, saying that the, uh, there was this toy uh, that was like a bear, and what you could do is you could put it on the net, and it would show you the the inner bear, the the personality within, and it'd show like this dancing bear and all of these little like personality traits of the bear. Oh, okay. And so what you could see is that on a screen. It's inside. It's all that. Because oh, kids always imagine that the bear has this crazy personality and stuff. Yeah, and it's doing all this stuff in, yeah. in the virtual world, I guess. Yeah. But see, it could do it in the real world. Yeah, eventually. well, that's it. Why not? That, that, once, I think once, that's a trend that's definitely going to happen. Once you could stand up and do all that stuff. Yeah. 
But, but see, I was actually, I was saying before, um, if you had that kind of, you know, toy that was a, a seemed like a real friend, mm -hmm. I mean, what you could do with that is kind of evil, but parents would kind of uh, program in a hidden agenda into it. Yeah, or, yeah. Because obviously, if, you, if you're giving your kid this um, toy to play with, it, it's, it becomes like a real imaginary friend, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, you can make it respond certain ways to certain yeah, behaviors. You want it. You want it to be teaching your child good behaviors, like yeah. what is good, what is evil, and educating it as well. Like you know, and make, make it, it real social toys type stuff. Yeah, like I teaching it things. But I through remember from Digimon ways. and stuff. Uh, yeah. Digimon was, uh, I think it was Digimon. I'm not sure where you went and fought with people. I remember a lot of us in primary school, we used to actually uh, arrange a time and a lot of us would get together and we'd all go fight each other on the things and stuff. I mean, you could actually have bears that, you know, really encourage that type of thing, that more interacting with stuff. Funny. <laughs> yeah, Kids maybe gather in the <laughs> They gather in the playground, bring their bears along, <laughs> throw some money down. Real and life and Pokemon, <laughs> yeah. Like cockfighting in real life. Go Pikachu! <laughs> with bears. With bears and zapping and horrible things. <laughs> oh god, that song brings on a new meeting there. <laughs> The bears coming down from woods. Yeah. <laughs> so what are the, like... They've got a big knife. What are the like, gadgets in general? Like, more sort See, of I'm, just kids' toys. I'm not toys. sure. Oh, I say I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't talked about it Because there's, there's so many... Like, gadgets is just every. Gadgets are massive. I think probably just sticking with kids' toys. We can talk about gadgets, like, next week or something going on. Because yeah, that's good. another whole massive topic. <laughs> so kids' toys. Kids' okay. toys under 10. Um, I think those trends are the big ones. They're becoming more realistic. Actually interacting with the child. Interacting that way. Yeah. Becoming more of a, like, a friend rather than an individual. Because I remember as a as a kid, and I know my sister, like watching her growing up, was uh, she really like had personalities for each of her toys, like her bears and her little stuffed animals and stuff. Yes. <laughs> like why not do the same thing with, like actually have a personality in it, not in an imaginary one, just how it responds. How about the and kid, how about the kid gives it its personality? Yeah, it responds to it. How yeah. the kid treats it is how the bear reacts. So yeah. You come from an abusive household, the bear's like an alcoholic <laughs> child. Like, oh fuck you up, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> But daddy, leave my bear alone. <laughs> you know, you get a real fucked up toys in the future. <laughs> and they have to be like reprogrammed and put yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm right. I'll do a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I regret nothing. You get all these like, you know how they, you, you know, there's all these bad influence. Friends who are bad influences. Yeah. It's yeah. like toys who are bad influences. <laughs> you lead them down a certain path. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the trend, as you were saying, that they'll probably will be connected to the internet. Yeah. And you'll get some hive intelligence that way. Yeah, we'll see. What else is that? Like, bears aren't the only thing. What else? No, no, we'll, we'll say that you've got blocks and, like, you know, the whole well, Lego mind um, Have you seen the, um, yeah, yeah, the, the augmented reality, the Lego yeah. stuff. Have you seen there's other things, like, these are really old, uh, siftables. Remember them? They're like, no. they're like blocks where literally they're, they're just blocks, but they've got little LCD screens. Oh, okay. And when you, like, connect them to each other, they, so they can be anything and they interact with each other. Yeah, yeah. Depending on where you around. place them. So it's like, you know, blocks, but you yeah, do stuff with That's kind of cool. Yeah, more stuff like that. More um, um, engineering type for, say, like, boys' toys and stuff. Like, growing up, like, Lego was my big thing. I used to always yeah. get presents of Lego and stuff. More programming, more stuff that way. What about, what about harder to think? What trend? about like games for kids? We've, oh, well, we've, we've kind about... of excluded games a bit because I mean, like virtual games, like Club Penguin, all of that is another whole separate topic, really. Yeah. Well, I guess that'll just grow. It'll grow. It'll be like on your mobile phone type things. Maybe a lot of games there, and all your game entertainment, like actual physical objects and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah. There's a lot of places you can go <laughs> with this. It's really hectic. Oh, like, we're talking about bears, like you know, for the actual interactive personal friend. We should revisit this. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff oh, we can I'm not talk sure. about. <laughs> can we just focus on physical, like physical toys, toys for kids? Like even the Nerf, Nerf guns and all of that. <laughs> yeah. So like full on augmented reality. I used to sell those some. Um, like back when I worked yeah, in like, the augmented. Dick Smith yeah. shop and all that, you had this HUD, and uh, you did it on, and it showed when you needed to reload when you had people nearby and stuff. I thought it was like the greatest thing ever. It had like three little uh, lights that would flash up. Oh. It was a little projector and your thing that flashed up onto your HUD. You'd go around with a gun and you'd have to go kill it. It was really great. It was like one of the best toys ever. It was about $200 each. And uh, we got a few returned and so we got to play with it. We had like in Browley, like there was about a group of five of us all playing. It was pretty cool. cool. Like VR Nerf, v Nerf guns. Yeah, yeah, VR Nerf guns and stuff. Why, why couldn't cool. I go to that? Right. So like, yeah, VR stuff. So a lot of um, cool trends that are going so here. The problem is we're really not in the right demographic <laughs> where we're not it, it's hard to see that's why i like the bear thing that we can go extrapolate there and say the trends that are coming with that afterwards we're uh, focusing on some different places because kids toys and all that it's such a massive massive yeah. thing you kind of need like kids to come to you and tell you what they play mm. with and why and what's cool what would be cool and yeah 
Oh, I think it's pretty epic. I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Like, uh, what yeah. kids' toys would you love to see? Or what would you have, like, playing with your kids? What Dude, would you real think? real lightsabers. Yes, possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you cut off grandma's arm, that viral video, you know. Did you see that where the kid gets a lightsaber? Would you? And then he cuts off the grandma's arm. No. <laughs> it's very <laughs> accidental. It's like, oh, yay! <laughs> cool. Anyway. Cool. Yep. It's been pretty epic. Yeah, it's been High 45. Um, yeah. comments. Yeah, yeah, tell us what you think about like what different toys our uh, kids will be playing with. This is something I really want to revisit again. I want to look into it because it is something that I think is massive that I've only just realized right now by talking about it with you is that there are so many different avenues that you can actually go down. Like, we've excluded so many things. We've only just yeah. spoken about <laughs> little... It's funny how stuff we're like, yeah, gadgets and toys. And I was like, okay, toys for kids. Um, okay, well, just physical toys for kids. Yeah, and, <laughs> and toys mainly for like younger, like bears yeah. and all that. I was like, wow, <laughs> this topic is massive. I love it. I love it today. Yeah. I love finding these new topics. There's a lot of new things to think about here. It's, it's more like it's more like near futuristic gadgets type stuff. Not yeah. Not well, we'll see. We could even go further with that. I need a kid yeah. to manipulate to actually say, <laughs> "Hey, play with this toy and see what they do." You know, just a whole group. I could go and play. You know, in primary school. I want to see what toys the kids are playing with. That'd go down well. Yeah. Just walk up there and say, "Like, I want to volunteer." Yeah. I'm a... <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I'm Nathan Waters. I'm Tristan Grace. Catch you guys next week. See ya. Where's the button? Beep. Oh no.